Hi, I'm Fam Ketover of Lenguin.com, and this is Mandarin Chinese. Now it's your turn to say the things we learned in the last lesson. Plus, you'll learn the Chinese characters. Listen to this first exchange. Mrs. Liu is talking with Mr. Anderson. The word excuse me is a polite way of starting off when you're asking for information. Repeat, excuse me. The word is always used at the beginning of the sentence. Repeat, excuse me, where are you from? The answer to this polite question is the same it would be to the plain question, where are you from? Listen. Repeat the name for Texas. Dezhou. 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 Repeat the reply, I'm from Texas. Take the part of the American in Beijing. You're at an official reception for foreign visitors. Mrs. Liu is asking you a question. Say that you're from Texas. 请问你是哪儿的人? What's the word for Texas? 德州 How do you say, excuse me, where are you from? 请问你是哪儿的人? Let's continue the conversation. This time, you ask Mrs. Liu where she's from. 请问你是哪儿的人? 我是上海人. The conversation continues. Mrs. Liu is asking about your wife. Listen. 请问安德森夫人是哪儿的人? 她也是德州人. Mrs. Anderson is a Texan too. Repeat the word for also or too. 也 也也 yeah. It is important to remember that the adverb 也 yeah. goes before the verb. Repeat, she's from Texas too. 她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也是德州人。她也
That means that whenever you hear the title Mrs., the appropriate equivalent is Furen. Repeat, Mrs. Anderson. Anderson Furen. Anderson Furen. Anderson Furen. Another point to make note is that in mainland China, foreign surnames are given multisyllabic equivalents instead of the monosyllabic surnames that the Chinese themselves have. How do you say, Mrs. Anderson is also a Texan? Anderson Furen is also a In mainland China, the word that is used to mean either husband or wife is Iren. Listen. The word for spouse is the verb to love with the following tone followed by the word for person. Repeat the word for wife or husband. Notice that in the word the second syllable has the neutral tone. Repeat the phrase that can mean his wife or her husband. Notice that ta, which can mean he or she, is used here to mean his or hers, without anything changed or added to it. Now repeat the sentence, his wife isn't English either. You'll notice that the adverb yeah. also still goes before the verb, although not directly. The negative verb Bu. intervenes. How do you say his wife isn't English either? How do you say I'm not Texan? How do you say I'm not Texan either? What's the word for husband or wife? Iron. How do you say his wife isn't English either? Now you take the part of Mr. Anderson in Beijing. You're at a reception talking with Mrs. Huang, who is interested in England. You're being asked about some fellow visitors, but you know they're not from England. Now let's eavesdrop as Mr. Martin, the Canadian representative, talks with Mrs. Zhao at the same reception. Zhao 同志,你是哪儿的人? 我是青岛人。青岛在哪儿? 青岛在山东。Repeat, 青岛. 青岛。青岛。青岛。Let's listen to the last two lines again. The word with a low tone means where. Repeat where. Since we're interested in location here, the verb to be at, in, or on is used. Try repeating it. As with the question words who or what, the question word nar follows the verb at the end of the sentence. Repeat, where's Qingdao? Qingdao zai nar. Qingdao zai nar. In the answer to the question, the question word nar is replaced with the answer. Repeat, Qingdao is in Shandong. Qingdao zai Shandong. Qingdao zai Shandong. 
What's the word for where? Nar. How do you say where's Qingdao? Qingdao is where? How do you say Qingdao is in Shandong? Qingdao is in Shandong. Listen to a similar exchange. Mr. Martin could have phrased his original question like this. 请问，你老家在哪儿？我老家在山东。Repeat the word for original home. 老家，老家，老家。The sentence 你老家在哪儿 is translated as "Where is your family from?" Literally, it would be something like, "Where is your original home?" Repeat. Excuse me. Where is your family from? 请问，你老家在哪儿？请问，你老家在哪儿 ？Try it again. Ask. Excuse me. Where is your family from? 请问，你老家在哪儿？我老家在山东。Repeat. My family comes from Shandong. 我老家在山东。我老家在山东。How do you say my family's from Texas? 我老家在德州。What's the word for also? 也。How do you say my family's from Texas? Also, 我老家也在德州 At the reception now, Mr. Anderson is talking with Mrs. Wang. Listen. 请问你老家在哪儿？我老家在德州。你爱人呢？他老家在哪儿？他老家也在德州。Now you try it. Answer Mrs. Wang's questions. Tell her that your family comes from Texas, as does your spouse's. 请问你老家在哪儿？我老家在德州。你爱人呢？他老家在哪儿？他老家也在德州。Later, Mrs. Zhao is talking with another foreign visitor. Listen. Zhao 同志。你老家在河北吗？我老家不在河北，我老家在山东。Repeat. 不在 Remember the tone on 不 changes to rising before the falling tone of 不在。不在。不在。不在。Repeat. My family doesn't come from Hubei. 我老家不在河北。我老家不在河北。How do you say California? 加州。How do you say my family doesn't come from California? 我老家不在加州。Answer the following question. Tell your friend that your family doesn't come from California; they come from Texas. 你老家在加州吗？我老家不在加州，我老家在德州。好，我们下课吧。Remember to head over to Lenguin.com to do the exercises. That's Lenguin, as in Lenguin the Penguin. Thanks for watching. I want to thank all of our supporters who have helped to make these courses possible. We want to keep making free courses. And with your help, we can do that. So be sure to head over to our Patreon page, where, in exchange for as little as a dollar, you'll get bonus stuff. Until next time, stay cool.